So I had a phone call from a previous customer of mine and they asked me to come around and have a look at the boxing in around their fuse board. I'm just glad there was no... Um, yeah, what can you do with this? Uh, yeah, what a masterpiece. Uh, so stick around to the end of the video and you'll see what I've come up with. Although you've already seen it in the thumbnail. So the customer decided that they wanted oak. And what I'm doing here is uh, using solid oak on all the exposed MDF edges. I much prefer doing it this way. I don't like using iron on edging. It doesn't last as long in my opinion. It's a little bit more work but well worth the effort. So YouTube tells you that you need to hook your viewers in the first 30 seconds of your video. If you see what I've built early on in the video, surely that will ruin the surprise. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think on that one. The customer wanted to go with a slat wall design and if possible to try and make the doors hidden. The oak that I'm using to cover up all the edges is just off cuts from the slats that you'll see me cutting up shortly. So now I'm just drilling the holes for the adjustable shelving. This part of the unit is going to be on the right hand side which later on the video you will see. So now I'm moving on to the doors and I'm just going to mask off where the, the actual slats go and the reason I'm doing that is because the, the glue uh, won't stick to the doors after I've sprayed them. I'm using the bin uh, shellac based MDF primer here, really do rate this stuff. If you've not used it before, definitely give it a try. It's really good for the edges as well. Now I'm about to spray everything and in the end I gave everything four coats. My spray gun isn't the best spray gun in the world. I mean it only cost me about £50 I think. So you have to water everything down. But it does get a really good finish considering how cheap it was.
Now I'm planing up the slats and the finished dimensions of these is 50mm uh, wide by 22mm thick if I remember rightly. Last job is just to give all the slats a quick sand and then that's pretty much everything I can do in my workshop. In the morning I will load everything into my van and we'll be heading off to the customer's house to fit everything. So here we are at the customer's house and the first job is to get this unit leveled up. So the wall on the right hand side, there's cables running everywhere and I'm not going to risk putting any fixings into that wall. So I'm just going to rely on the glue to start with and then when the worktop goes in, that will lock everything in place. I just want to apologise for the very limited camera angles we're going to get on this job and you're mostly looking at my back. Uh, the room that I'm in is very small and I can only really set my camera up in the one position that I've got it, which happens to be a doorway. So now I'm just going to temporarily fit this panel in place and using my laser I can level across from my unit on the right to get this panel perfectly level. Then I'll take everything outside and cut it to size. So as you can see I've now cut this panel to height and I've cut the hidden doors out. In my right hand I've got the off cut from the top of this panel and that's going to ensure everything stays parallel when I fix it in place. So the original batten that was on the wall was slightly out of level so I'm just going to fix this piece of pine there to re-level everything up. So now I'm fixing these pieces of pine in place and this is going to give me an attachment point for my concealed hinges. If I get these in the right place it will make the hidden doors work properly and it will add quite a lot of strength to the front of the unit. All of these fixings will eventually be covered by the oak slats. I'm outside now and as you can see I'm gluing the oak to the MDF and you can see now where I masked off the MDF to stop the paint going where the glue is going to go. I'm using a 5 minute polyurethane glue here 
but I've got to be quite careful that I don't use too much because the last thing I want is for it to foam up and ruin the black spray job underneath. That shelf you can see behind me, that actually had a secret hidden compartment, but the design changes shortly, so it just uh, wasn't meant to be. I'm now just about to fit the corner post and I'm using the masking tape trick to get a perfect mitre. Again, I'm using the five minute polyurethane glue Now I'm starting on the actual worktop. This is made from solid oak as well. This is really easy to fit actually because it's three pieces of wood. I just scribed it individually and then glued it all together. So at this point the customer decided that they would like a door on this part of the unit. Originally it was going to be left open so there's no problem, I just had to adapt the unit slightly. In some of the previous clips you might have noticed that the adjustable shelves have now changed. Originally they were going to be on show and now obviously there's going to be a door there. So obviously the design's changed slightly and that's why. This did take some time to actually get this door to work. It was quite difficult to make it look like a hidden door and we had to use quite a few different hinges to get it to work properly. Now I'm fitting the new adjustable shelving that I was talking about earlier. And this is just a cover for those electrical boxes and it's, it's just a friction fit. So we're finally done and ready for the big reveal. So here's the before picture again. Lovely job there. I really wanted to play the Jaws music here but... Well, we finally got there. Hope some of you made it to the end and enjoyed the video. If anyone's got any comments, please leave them below. Good or bad, I try to get back to everyone. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.